Hello YouTube, welcome to another car boot haul video. Uh, so the weather was expected to be really bad today. It wasn't as bad as the, the news made out, but I think it put a lot of people off. Um, because the normal car boot I go to had hardly anyone there. So we ended up going to a second car boot and got a few more things. But still, not a lot today. So, I'll just show you what stuff we did get. Got some crazy rave trousers. <clears throat> Excuse me. They were only 50p. Got this little potion bottle for a friend of mine. It's only 50p. Got another little egg made of some sort of gemstone. He was 50p. Uh, got this really nice wrapping paper. It was like three pieces for a pound. And there was Moomin. Um, the colourful elephant. I forget what that was guy's name was was it elmer or something i don't know and more moomin stuff um but yeah it was really nice wrapping paper so we got some of that got this jolly octopus book it was 10p got this futurama comic uh didn't have the free magnets but it was from 2011 that was 50p this was a pound a teenage scrapbook uh it says winford on the top and when you open it up it was about Winford Hospital, Winford Orthopedic Hospital. I don't know why, but this just seems really, like, dark to me. Um, but it's from, like, 1967, Western Superman, Somerset. Anyway, uh, I started having a flick through and was like, yeah, this, this isn't very exciting. I'm probably going to leave this. But as I got a bit further in, it actually is full of, like, really old-fashioned nice cards. Um, so yeah, I counted up, there was uh, a lot of cards in here when you went through, uh, so in the end I thought, considering how nice the cards were, um, there was a few in particular that I really liked, I was like, well I have it for a quid. Also bought this for a pound, don't know if you can see, but it's like holographic, reflective thing, I don't know if it's meant to be some sort of fairy tale writer, um, but it's like, this guy's almost like smoking something or lighting a candle um and then there's all sorts of like fairy creatures all around and yeah it was just really nice so that was quid same fella that had that one had this little box of star wars lego that looks absolutely battered to pieces but yeah it was only two quid uh he also had this which is like an ashtray or an incense holder maybe which, is that petrified wood? I'm not sure. Might be the same sort of gemstone thing that that is. He wanted a quid for that. He also had this box, and it was full of, like, little bits and bobs, and I was, like, pulling out these little gemstones, bits of fool's gold. I found this cool little box with, like, an elephant on, and it's like a little, like a little book. You can open it up, and... Inside, there's nothing, but it was just a neat little box. So I asked him how much the little bits in this box were, and he said, oh, I was selling it as a job lot. So I went, all oh, right, it's going to be expensive then, isn't it? And he went, yeah, I wanted two quid for the whole box. So I thought, well, blimey, for the bits that are half decent, I'd pay two quid for some of these. So I just went through and pulled out anything that I thought looked half decent, and I left him with the rest of the stuff that was a bit more... Well, what I considered trash. Um, these are strange. They're like little glass sort of creatures. I don't know what on earth these things are meant to be. Um, they're very strange. Uh, not as strange as that. Um, I don't know what animal's claw that is. Uh, or why it was in the box. But yeah. Little Jesus there. And little, little rat there. I don't know why anyone wants a baby rat. A uh, little beaver. Or a groundhog, maybe? Yeah, anyway, that little pile of nonsense was two quid. Um, bought this for 50p. I'm going to send that to a friend of mine. Um, bought this for a pound. Uh, the guy said it was from the 70s. Who knows, really? It needs a bit of a wipe over. Uh, got this from the same guy for a quid. Now, they look like they're all different cards. So I think this is some sort of like collector's card thing. But then some silly buggers stuck it to to this. So you can't see what cards they are. Never mind. Pound. Uh, comics for a pound each. X-Men. 
Did have a few more. These were like the two in the best condition. Went for this one because it's still got the double-sided poster inside, so that was cool. Uh, bought this, Tom and Jerry Viewmaster. It's got three of these in here. Um, sort of opens up at the side like this. Uh, I wanted 50p for that, and when I was laying all the stuff down, I realised it says £3 from a charity shop. Uh, so someone bought it for 3 quid, and then I bought it for 50p. Also, uh, been on my DVD binge again. Uh, same people, DVDs, 5 for a pound. So uh, I think I've got up to about here. Oh no, there's still some at the top. Anyway, did a lot of DVDs, 5 for a pound, £1 per box set. And then I bought this one from a different seller, Bill and Ted Face the Music. I never even knew they'd done a new one. Still sealed on Blu-ray, so they wanted a quid for that. So in the end, I spent uh, nine quid on all my DVDs. And lastly, this Digimon Digital Monsters skateboard. Um, bloke wanted three quid for it. I am not paying three quid for this Digimon skateboard. Uh, so he said, make me an offer, and I thought, nah. He's not going to be happy with what I'd be prepared to pay, a pound. And he went, oh, just take it for a quid, mate. I just don't want to take it home with me. So, yeah, now I have a Digimon skateboard as well. Oh, I did miss a couple of things about the only real toy we got today. This guy was 50p. As I say, there was absolutely no one with anything for sale. So I think this might possibly have been the only action figure available for purchase at any of the car boot sales today. So yeah, pick, picked him up. Oh, and I missed this as well. I bought this weird charm bracelet for a pound. Um, or was it 50p? I forget. Um, there is an awful lot of charms on here. I do not think these are like... What's the expensive one, guys? There's like a really expensive charm place thing. Is it Pandora? Something like that. I don't think these are Pandora charms by any means because they tend to be very expensive and worth lots and lots of money um i think these are probably very cheap but there's just so many of them and i just thought well for a quid or 50p it, it definitely wasn't more than a quid i think it was a quid from memory i was like you know what for all of those charms i'll uh i'll just have it for a quid so yeah huge big bracelet oh that's some harry potter nonsense on there as well who knew oh, i don't know if that's been in focus on any of the times i've shown it there you go. Maybe that helps. So that was today's uh, load of tat. I uh, hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.